Hello, hello, Flutterful developers, and welcome to API Flow YouTube channel. My name is Andre, and today we will talk about how to search data in Google Spreadsheet and display it in Flutterful application. It's quite a simple task, but it's useful uh, for your application when you store some data in Google Spreadsheet and you need to provide ability to search to it or after you have some ID, you need to find some record in your Google Spreadsheet. So in uh, this video, I will use API flow to connect my Google Spreadsheet. So first of all, I create a new project in API flow. And next I need to create a new Google Spreadsheet connection. So I will name it Google Sheets Contacts and we'll go to my list of contacts in Google Spreadsheet, very simple table. We'll share it to anyone with link. You can use viewer or editor access level. Next, copy this link and paste it into API flow. Save and create connection. Next, you need to select connection to use and publish your integration. After this, download open API definitions. This will allow us to import API endpoints into our API calls in Flutterfall. So we go to API calls and import our API definition. Next, to assess our endpoints in API flow, we need to go to API flow and copy this security header and add it to API group in Flutterfall. Save it and let's check how our list contacts rows work. So we request rows data and we received result. But we want to learn how to do search. So I will explain you how you build search expression. So first of all, you build it in inside bracket and Next, if you have some column, for example, I will use UID column, you need to put name of this column, then use two dots, replaced by <laughs> smile. And next, after this, you need to provide a value you want to search. For example, I will use B202, and it's supposed to return us only this record. So I will send a test request. And as you can see, I received that response. So next I will copy my JSON of response and we'll go to data types and we'll create a new data type. For me, I will call it person. So I will enter my JSON from my API and we'll create a person data type. Next, what I want to do, I want to replace a photo field with specific image pass field because by default, Flutterflow generates generate a string and I want it to be image pass to bind it to image. So I replace photo with image. Uh, pass data type and next I go to my API call list contacts rows and uh, enable parses data type and select person data type as, and this is a list. Besides, in our, in our case it will return one record when we search for it, but anyway it's a list so we will need to get first record from it later and in, in our page. Next, what I will do, I will specify local page state variable and we'll call it a person, person, and we'll specify data type. It will be person, it will be only one person. So I confirm it. And next, what I want to do, I want to bind all these uh, internal components to my person Field. So I will use bind to person data structure field photo. As you can see, I can use it because it's image pass. And next I go and bind text to person name. 
And next, uh, okay, I need some default value. And we will provide here display name. And who, uh, next it will be email, email. Uh, some email and you will show it as email confirm and last one is a form so we will use page state person data structure field form and default will be some number and we will display it label as form okay so we bound all these fields and now we need to initiate our person value, when we click on the search button, we want to get a value of person with and do a query to our Google spreadsheet through API flow. So we create an on tap action, use backend database API call. We need to select list contact rows. And now we will build our search query. So to build our search query, we will use combined text utility. First, we will search by unit, and we need to put two dots sign. And next, we need to add a value of our uh, of our text in unit text field. And last, we need to close brackets. So now we have this text combination built and we will call it API person. Persons. So now next we will, well, if it's successful, we will set our page state at field person set value and we will use first item from API persons result as data type uh, item and in, at index first item. Okay, it's great. And now what we need to do, we want to show data here in our column only if, well, let's use container maybe, only if we've already found the person. So what we will do, we will wrap this container into, into conditional builder. So what conditional builder do? Conditional builder allows us to specify some condition and it will do some action display some block that is inside so inside uh, display some component or else you can display other component in our case we just want to display component if our page state person uh, and we want to set condition here we want to put single condition here if our page state person is set else we do not want to display anything uh, conditional builder is very important because by default at the moment flutter flow handle now uh, complex variables like person data have multiple fields and if we will try to bind internal component and this external like full variable full our full person will be now it will fail with error but if we will add conditional builder it will uh, handle it and if our person is set we will show these components if it's not set we will do not show we will show nothing we will not show anything else uh, Every condition must have a child. I need to put something here and I will just show an empty row, I suppose, in this case. Okay, so now my conditional builder have first container and it have alternative empty container. So 
I will test my application. So my application is loaded and ready to test. Let's put here something like, like B. And we check and we can see our person data here. If we will search for other record, we will see other person. So it's cool, cool way to uh, search your data if required. It's not so fast. It's definitely faster if you load records. Uh, first and then filter and etc but in some case when if you want to provide access only by some id to data and etc it can be useful also remember to handle your data loading with conditional builder it's a very cool components that allow you to uh, display different components if data loaded or not i hope this video will be useful for your projects let me know also what topics do you want me to cover in the future videos. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.